All right, y'all check this out. Be on the lookout for this. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. This ain't going to work like that. Let me do it like this. We still got it going on. We just go live with it. All right, so check this out, right? That is catching it because they started canceling all these loads. Can I click on it? Oh, I can still click on it. So, but this is something to look out for. You see this van load, 10,000 pounds, $1,900. A power only load, 10,000 pounds, $1,900. That right there tells you is a problem. Because how are you going to have 10,000 pounds, whether it's a van load or a power only, and it's paying the same amount? You don't pay the same amount for a van load as a power only load. For one, you never see it. Why is the email address with a comma instead of a dot com? If everything legit, there's no reason to put a comma instead of a dot com. And email only. That's happened before, especially in a holiday or weekend. And anytime you see something like this and it's not the actual broker's domain name being used, check that different domain name and see what you come up with. Here's what I came up with. Now, if you do carrierreps.com, which is the domain that they use for their email, there's not even a website built. And if you do carrier rep without the S, well, that's me looking at the source code. Somebody tried to build a website, but there is an error. Site not even displaying correctly. PHP error, and I'm looking at the source code here for the site. Control F theme. I need mean, what else? Carrier Representative Association. What's the name of this one supposed to be? We don't even know. So anyway, you see these inconsistencies, and yeah, you already know. Like they got a website. Most of the time, people use that domain for their communication or at least they'll have a gmail something that by now everyone you know is familiar with i don't know what's going on with that it's been hacked again a lot lately or i should say at least abused people keep spamming it happened the other day as well with armstrong it's been done it's been done with suntech so I don't know what's going on with that low boy, but it's getting kind of crazy. It's bad enough that we can't get decent rates. Now you have to like work your way through all of this crazy stuff. Interesting, huh? By the way, hacker, wait, we don't know if this is the actual hacker site or if the other one is the only hacker site. Anyway, if you're watching, this is for y'all anyway. Uh, you got this error code. All I got to do is right click and view the page source. Copy all this source. Take it over to ChatGPT. I already tested it out. So I asked it, could it, what's wrong with this code? The message I'm getting is that it's a PHP error. It says, sure, I can help with this. Put the, Give me the code that's causing you the problem. Paste the code in there. And it's telling me what the problem is. So, I mean, actually, y'all know I ain't really trying to help the hacker. But it will if they're watching it. But for you guys, if you're going to play around with code and you're trying to do a website or anything else, really. Uh, I mean, test it. I don't know what all will work. But ChatGPT can show you the problem and how to fix it. Yeah.